Hi, I'm Bernie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies. You got your Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, and you notice that it's got uh, a few ports on it, but it doesn't have a network port. So how can we get this actually connected up to the internet or up uh, to our local network to do something interesting? Well, the great thing is, is it has USB. So let's uh, kind of show what it would look like to connect a USB ethernet adapter to it. So what I have here is three cables. We've got power for the Pi, and then we've got an ethernet uh, connection to our network here with a pluggable USB ethernet adapter that has a uh, USB on the go micro B uh, connector on the end of it. And that's the connector that fits the Raspberry Pi. Um, and then we've got a micro HDMI cable so we can see what's happening when we plug the Pi in. So let's go ahead and plug these cables in. We'll plug in the display and we'll go ahead and plug in uh, the network cable so that we can get the ne network access we're shooting for. Uh, this network adapter has drivers that are built in to the Pi or I should say really the Raspbian, and the distribution that comes with the Pi. Okay, so now power is going in. So the Pi is now powered up and is gonna start the boot process. We've got the systemd console log is flying by as all the different uh, device drivers in Raspbian um, and the kernel load up. And uh, one of the things that's gonna show there on the console right towards the end is the IP address uh, that this pluggable USB Ethernet adapter has gotten assigned uh, through DHCP. In this case, it's 192.168.1.244. Um, and so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to my Windows PC and we're going to uh, actually SSH in to the same Raspberry Pi here. So here we are up at SSH. Um, I'm just gonna enter the default Raspberry Pi uh, password, uh, Pi, and then Raspberry. And we drop down to the console, and we'll take a quick look at the directory here. And then uh, we'll take a look at the kernel, uname a You can see it's a Raspberry Pi. So there we go. We plugged in our Pi, we plugged in our pluggable USB Ethernet adapter into the monitor there. And we now have a $5 Raspberry Pi Zero connected to the network and able to do all kinds of interesting things like act like a server, print server, web server, Internet of Things server. And uh, it was all enabled through the USB port on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. Thanks.